Hi, uh, my name is Dan Cooney from Daniel Cooney Fine Art in Manhattan. Uh, we're here today to talk about an auction of the archive of Dodie Weston Thompson. Uh, Dodie was a part of the West Coast Photographers Movement, which encouraged non-manipulation of the photographs. So in other words, straightforward photography, as opposed to on the East Coast was a movement called pictorialism. Dodie was a wonderful photographer on her own and didn't uh, really receive uh, the recognition that she deserved. However, she did become the assistant and then later the protege to Edward Weston. Furthermore, we have some examples of Dodie's work. Um, some of them photographs taken of Edward Weston, some of them taken in Edward Weston's home, and then a few examples of what might be better known as Dodie's uh, photographic practice on her own. Uh, we also have some beautiful uh, vintage work by Edward Weston. Among the best examples are probably his landscapes, but also some of his portraiture, which we have here. Um, his famous portrait of Igor Stravinsky and famous portraits of Robins Robinson Jeffers, who is a uh, well-known uh, West Coast poet. And of course, Stravinsky was a famous uh, Russian composer. One piece that I think might have particular interest is this photograph by Edward Weston, again, a vintage print. Um, authenticated by Dodie herself. It's a well-known image called Willie, which is of a tombstone in a New Orleans uh, graveyard. Beyond that, we also have some photographs by Brett Weston. We actually have quite a few photographs by Brett Weston in the collection. Many of them are his, what you would think of his work, his most important work being uh, landscape photography made in California during the time. And then we have some kind of smaller special uh, personal notes such as uh, greeting cards with notes to friends or notes actually back and forth to each other from Dodie and Brett. I'm Daniel Cooney and thank you very much for joining us today.